The thrust of it was that uh, it was very likely that in a post-conflict um, situation in Iraq, there was going to be a lot of violence. You're going to have a period of general lawlessness. You're going to need to establish the rule of law. You're going to have to deal with prisoners, for example. Robert M. Perito, an official on President Reagan's National Security Council staff, has studied post-war problems in Bosnia, Kosovo, East Timor, and Haiti. In all these places, he pointed out, there was widespread looting. The same thing happened in Panama. As soon as the fighting ended, mobs went into the street of Panama City and destroyed Panama City, looted the city, did more damage to the Panamanian economy than the conflict did. And uh, so my uh, presentation um, was largely about the kinds of forces that we would need in order to deal with that kind of violence. And those lessons were ignored. We could have been ready. U.S. military forces that were there on scene stood by and watched. Why? Because they had no instructions to intervene. And two, because there is this feeling and has been on the part of the U.S. military consistently that, that the U.S. military doesn't do police. It doesn't do policing functions. 